What is going on, everybody? Rock here, and welcome to day number 28 in my countdown to Black Ops 2. We're going to talk SMGs today, submachine guns. Going to be using a submachine gun here in this Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Going to be playing a little Kill Confirmed here on Resistance, and I got probably my second favorite SMG from Modern Warfare 3. That is the UMP, my favorite being the P90. Uh, P90, I don't know why, it just seemed to be my best SMG in Modern Warfare 3. I think everybody else in the world, though, loves the MP7. And uh, I got some good news for you MP7 lovers. It is returning in Black Ops 2. Will it be the same weapon, though? Probably not. Uh, I have a feeling that uh, David Vondahar over at Treyarch, he's going to do a lot of gun tweaking to, to all these weapons. And I would say... The weapons that are in the game at this very moment will not be the weapons that we see 28 days from now. I'm sure he's going to do a lot of fine tweaking to try and get that gun balance just right. But the MP7 is definitely returning, and uh, we'll have to see what we get out of it in the Black Ops 2 version of it. Next weapon we have on tap is a new one to the world of Call of Duty. It's the Scorpion Evo 3. Now, when you say Scorpion, you, you immediately think of the very small submachine gun. Well, that's not what we got right here. This is a, a totally new weapon. Once you get a look at the Scorpion Evo 3, it's going to remind you a lot of the MP5, I think, just in the basic design of it. Uh, it's got a folding buttstock, which I'm sure is going to be out for the uh, Black Ops 2 version of it. It's a fully automatic submachine gun made in the Czech Republic, and uh, it's a 9mm Highest rate of fire, supposedly, among all the SMGs. Now, it doesn't have as much damage, say, like the MP7, but when you have that high rate of fire, sometimes that can compensate for a low amount of damage. We'll just have to see what we get in the final version of the Scorpion Evo 3 in Black Ops 2. Next weapon we've got up is my pick for the best submachine gun in the category. Now, if you remember the multiplayer reveal trailer, the submachine gun that the player was using that had the millimeter scanner that allowed you to see through a, a, a wall and see through the smoke to see somebody standing there, that weapon that he was using was the PDW-57. And uh, in a way, it reminds me a lot of the P90. It's uh, a fully automatic submachine gun with uh, very good range, really, really high damage, and has the largest ammo capacity of any submachine gun in the game. The thing actually has 50 rounds in the clip, which is going to be a lot of fun for submachine gun users. I think uh, Treyarch submachine guns in the past, their downfall has been they have very small clips in them. Uh, I'm really looking forward to using this PDW-57 and trying it out with that 50-round magazine. That's going to be my early pick for best submachine gun in the game. Next up on the list of Black Ops 2 submachine guns is a gun you've probably never heard of until Black Ops 2 actually came out. And that's because it doesn't really exist, at least not yet. It's an experimental weapon called the Shycom QCB, and that's Close Quarters Combat. And uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting gun. It's supposedly going to have 40 rounds of magazine. Now, if that's true, that's going to put it really, really close to being on par with the PW, PDW-57 that we just talked about. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. It's a bullpup weapon, so it's going to be a lot like the, the p 90 and other bullpup style weapons in that class. Uh, but the interesting thing about this one, it's not going to be fully automatic. It's going to be a three round burst submachine gun. And you really just don't see that very often in Call of Duty. Almost always your submachine guns are going to be fully automatic. Well, not the Shycom CQB. And uh, it's going to have a really high cycle fire rate. And it's going to be designed for you to, to pull that trigger just as fast as you can to get the maximum amount of bullets downrange. Just uh, kind of picture it like the Modern Warfare 3 M16 or Type 95 when you have rapid fire attached to it. That's essentially what the Shycom CQB is going to be like. And it'll be really interesting to see the final result we get from that. It's got a moderate damage rating, so it's not going to be up there on par with the PDW-57 or the MP7. It's more along the lines of the Scorpion, so uh, we'll see exactly how that plays out in-game. But that is the Shycom CQB. 
Next up, we've got another brand spanking new weapon to the world of Call of Duty. That is the MSMC, and it actually stands for Modern Submachine Gun Carbine. And this was a weapon that was actually developed for the Indian police. And uh, it's best way I can describe this is it's like a modified Uzi. It looks a lot like an Uzi with an extended barrel, a little bit beefier design. And it's, it's probably going to handle a lot like an Uzi would. I'd wager you're probably going to hold it with one hand. Don't know for sure, but uh, we'll have to wait and see when we get into the game. It's a 5.56 caliber submachine gun, gas operated with a pretty nice high rate of fire, 700 RPMs. But the interesting thing about it is the stats that they list for it. Uh, very, very much on par damage-wise with the... PDW-57 and the MP7. Almost the exact same damage, maybe even a little tad bit higher. Uh, it's going to be really close. That could mean this is a really good go-to weapon. Uh, one of the unique things listed in the attributes of the MSMC for Black Ops 2 is it has increased range and reduced recoil. Now, I found that really interesting that they actually address the recoil in the description of the weapon. Uh, normally, Recoil is going to be your biggest downfall to any weapon in any video game. How can you can control that weapon and have your shot on target? Well, the MSMC supposedly has reduced recoil, so we'll have to see exactly how that plays out when we get our hands on Black Ops 2. But keep your eye out for the MSMC. It could be a dark horse in the running for best submachine gun. But my vote still for the PDW. 57. And the final submachine gun that is listed in the category for Black Ops 2 is the Vector K-10. And uh, if you played Modern Warfare 2, you've already had a chance to play with a Vector. I actually really enjoyed using the Vector in Modern Warfare 2. It was really fun to use with a silencer on it, run around. And uh, the only downfall I could say that it had was it had such a high rate of fire, you burn through the ammunition uh, pretty quick. So... We'll have to see how that kind of works over into Black Ops 2. I'm sure they'll change the weapon up a little bit. It's got a fairly reasonable damage rate. Uh, all the other aspects of the weapon, the range, accuracy, are pretty much on par with all the other SMGs in the category. One interesting thing that it has listed with it, it is going to be fully automatic, and it contains recoil mitigation technology. What is that, you ask? Another recoil factor. We'll have to see how that actually transfers over into the video game aspects of the weapon. Uh, again, a low recoil submachine gun can be a beautiful thing. It can also be a very overpowered thing. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see how that actually transfers over into the video game and then we can kind of make our decision based on that. Uh, I think it's going to boil down to which of these submachine guns is going to be your overpowered choice. And that's going to be the one you're going to end up seeing the most of. It's just like in Modern Warfare 3, you see a lot of MP7, you know. Uh, one thing, when they showed a lot of that gameplay footage from Gamescom, you saw a lot of the pro players using the MP7. Now, was that just because that's something they were familiar with already and that's the one they chose? Or was it truly the best submachine gun in the class? I don't know. We'll have to wait till the game actually comes out 28 days from now. And then we can kind of get a better idea of which one that's going to be. What are some submachine guns maybe you would like to have seen put into Black Ops 2? What's something out there that you've just been really, really wanting to see in one of the Call of Duty series, but just hasn't made the cut. If you've got some kind of suggestion like that, be sure to put it down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear about it. But uh, based on the submachine guns I've already given you in this list, the MP7, the Scorpion Evo 3, the PDW-57, the Shycom CQB, the MSMC, and the Vector K-10, which one of these are you most forward looking to getting your hands on. Which one are you looking most forward to using in the game? Let me know in the comments below in 28 days from now. We'll get to try it out. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay, guys. Kind of went ham on these guys. Throw down a 50 kill game here. And we win just in the last second as I get the game winning kill. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.